This is Twit. But see, this is why it's really fun to be an Android user, because even if you're not a developer like myself, you still get to like try out all of this new little stuff. Um, but one thing that sort of kind of gets me down, I know, Dave, we always ask you about this, but it is one of kind of the persistent questions that exists, which is, when are we going to start to see these features come to other versions? And I know that, or rather, other OEM versions of Android. Um, I know that's what makes Android Android. You get to have your choice. Um, you get to experience different flavors as you go across the board. And we have seen some improvement with Mainline and with Trouble, for sure. I'm wondering, is there any... Are there any other components of the Android OS that you kind of hope Mainline will help out? And do you get to talk to like third-party OEMs before you take any of those into consideration? Yeah, this is a, this is a great question. So uh, this is also a topic we, I talk about a lot internally. Uh, you yeah, know, look, I think um, Android actually has some strengths that I think we overlook sometimes. Like all of the apps. Are un including the Google ones, are un unbundled and they update frequently. And that's mm -hmm. great because when you want to make a change or you want a whole new feature, or you don't need a whole, a whole new operating system update. Uh, we also have capability like the Google Play services that allows us to push new features like uh, you know, emergency location service. So when you call 911, you get accurate locations of the responders and literally saves minutes, which saves lives. Um, things like Google Play Protect, where we have malware detection. And so the ability to be able to like, uh, make that available and updatable and all of the whole fleet is a very powerful capability. We, we recently used it for exposure notification capability uh, for COVID-19 uh, to help you know if you've been um, uh, in proximity with somebody who, who tested positive and then no quarantine. We wouldn't have been able to do that if we didn't have those updatable mechanisms. Uh, mainline sort of goes one step further and it really sort of embraces that idea of like modules of code that are updatable, but allows us to do much more gnarly things inside the operating system. Uh, we now have 21 modules uh, across the system that are updatable. Right. Including with Android 11, there's nine new ones with Android 11. Um, and it, this is definitely a, one of those multi-year things where we're going to do more and more. Um, I can't talk to what's happening next year, but I'm pretty excited about where we're going with Mainline. Um, you know, our focus is really on things that uh, affect security and privacy and developer consistency. And so they're the, the, the sort of the, the things that we want to be able to, to update. And also by updating it, you get uniformity so that, um, you know, these components are the same. So developers don't have to deal with, with changes. Um, the balance, of course, with this is that we still want to allow flexibility and, and different device makers to be able to innovate and express themselves. And so there's a balance uh, in, in here. Um, but this is a big, big investment for us. And, and uh, like I said, next year, it's gonna, there's going to be some nice, nice big things to talk about. Um, yeah. And then, you know, updatability in general, like I think, um, I think we, we did a blog post recently, we talked about, you know, the, the curve, the adoption curve of Android 10 is much higher than nine and which, which was higher than eight and which was higher than seven. And so we're making progress. Um, I think we're also doing a lot of lower level uh, changes, like one I'm pretty proud of in Android 11 is virtual AV. Uh, so, it, so if you have a pixel, for example, the way AV updates work is you're, you're using your phone and then at night, we download a security update, which is a whole system update, and we call that your B partition, for example. And then the next uh, next few days, when you happen to restart your phone, we'll f we'll reboot you into the B partition. And then the next thing will happen, you know, in a month's time, when a security update happens, we'll update the A. Next time you reboot, we'll flip you to the A. The and it's a, so you get basically seamless updates. Uh, the challenge is it requires two partitions, uh, so you you, use a, you have to sort of pre-allocate like a separate you know A and B mm -hmm. partition. Virtual A and B allows one partition and allows us to dynamically size. So just grab a blob, uh, uh, basically a partition um, that's mounted on the data partition, uh, and then allows us to download the update and then just flip into it. Um, so you don't have to permanently offset the content that does the, the partition. So anyway, that's a, one of the things that we're doing, which will help get a B updates into more devices, because uh, we some of the device makers were, were concerned about having separate partitions. And so now that's opened the door. So you'll see that, that sort of seamless update that you have in Pixel and more devices, uh, hopefully over the next couple of you know months and quarters. Um, and then one other thing that I'm super excited about that we mentioned in, in, in the blog post is we call it GKI, uh, it stands for G generic kernel image. Um, and you know, Android is based on the Linux kernel at the, at the, at the core. Um, but what actually happens is each device maker takes the Linux kernel and makes some changes. And so each kernel is slightly different and there's different versions. 
the idea of generic kernel image is that we would have one kernel across all Android devices. And so we get more uniformity. And so that's another one of these long multi-year projects that we're working on, but I'm uh, pretty excited about it. Yeah, I, I am too. I feel like I feel like that's been some of the most meaningful kind of under the hood updates that have happened to Android in the last three years is Treble and Mainline. And yeah. uh, when I heard about both of those at the announcement, that was what got me most excited. I was like, oh man, okay, this really needs to happen. So I love that we're starting to kind of see some improvements there. It will never be iOS numbers, just by nature, the way Android is at its core, compar comparatively speaking, but it's getting better. And that's, I mean, there, there's nothing but good to be said about that.